Good morning. <clears throat> it's lunchtime here in Scotland this morning, and I have no children. No children. My mother has got both boys today, and we're not picking them up until tomorrow lunchtime. Woohoo! Just as well, it gave me time to post all that blooming hundred subbies challenge last night. Thank you, Fiona, for your helpful video yesterday to promote my wee challenge. And since then, I have got almost the 200 subbies instead of just 100. But, hey ho, onwards and upwards, I'm really, really pleased and welcome to all the new subbies. Feel free to ask anything. Um, and hope you enjoy watching what I show. Um, my crafting goes from full range, from watercolour, acrylic painting, um, flower making, altered art, jewellery making, charms like the one in front. Um, these are wee memorial charms that I make. I did initially make them in memory of the wee Jamie, the wee butterfly. But since then, I have made them for various other people. Um, they're really, really nice. See if anyone has lost a baby or even miscarried a baby. Um, to put even just a wee white petal in the centre. If they don't know what the baby was, it's just a nice wee something to say. We know that you're in pain and we're here. Instead of just ignoring it or feeling awkward, it's just something. Um, but I have been making them for adults as well, where really, like whatever their favourite colour was, and instead of the baby feet putting a star on it or. Um, something that they were interested in. Uh, but they're quite popular. Um, what else did I do? That's terrible, my head's just went blank. Don't know. Anyway, the 100 Service Challenge. It is as easy as I can possibly make it. Um, I want as many people to feel comfortable taking part as possible. I don't want anyone to feel, oh I'm not really that good or I want everyone to say, do you know what, I can have a crack at this. Um, so for the rules, the only hard and fast rule is you need to be a subscriber. If you do a video response, a VR, regardless of whether you're sending a physical item, you will get an entry. That's it. So we'll wait a minute, we reiterate that. If you're a subscriber and you want to take part, you will get an entry. If you do a video response, with or without something being sent, you will also get an entry. If you send an item, you will get a third entry. And finally, in what I would prefer, it's just to send a wee bit of happiness to one of your subbies. Doesn't need to be anything big, even just an ATC card with thank you and on the back it say for being there. It's something different coming through your mailbox. It's not a bill. It's not Bloomin's crud that they keep putting through your door. Bloomin adverts and insurance documents and God knows what else. It's just 
something that's going to give that person, even if it's the tiniest wee smile, it's worth it. And as I said, an ATC card and an envelope. Same, a wee friendly message, even if it's just a wee poem or a wee quote, it's, it's something. And postage doesn't need to be that much. Second class post for a wee ATC card, 40 pence. It's not that bad. And it will make someone's day. I promise, believe me. Um, so for every single rack you send out, regardless of the size, even if it's an ATC card, you get an entry. You just private me, message me, tell me who you've sent an item to. You don't even need to tell me what you sent. Just that you sent something to one of your subbies and who that person was and you get an entry. If you send out five racks over the six weeks, that's an extra five entries. Um, as I said, that's my main thing is I just want people to be happy and smiley because on my dark days, that is what helps. Um, prizes. I had hoped to do a wee bit of handmade things and um, do something nice, but it didn't really transpire because Miss Fiona, thank you, <laughs> um, posted her lovely video for me and I got flooded. I had hoped 86 subbies, I'll have about another fortnight to get myself together and get a nice wee prize pack together and nah, forget it. <laughs> so we have four prizes. First place, a first prize will be £30. Great British pounds. For the one who touches me the most. As I said, it doesn't need to be the biggest item. It could be an ETC card, whatever it says. Maybe it makes me smile. Maybe it's something that triggers something from my childhood that will really touch me. That's going to be my winner. I don't even know what it'll be until I see it. Second place prize will be £20, Great British Pounds. And that will be drawn out the heart um, by my seven year old son, Jaden. Third place will be a three piece handmade jewellery set, earrings, charm bracelet, necklace, a new favourite colour with charms that you want. And again, names in the heart. And Jaden will pull that out. And fourth place will be an embellishment kit. Worth at least a tenner. But it will include ribbons, lace, charms, flat back pedals, maybe some material, flowers, um, papers. Whatever else I can find to put together, it will be there. Um, the closing date for it will be the 6th of March. That's six weeks today. That gives everyone from Australia, America, a good few weeks to get themselves to make anything that they want to make. Get it in the post. The lower post needs the better. Um, and get it to me before the closing date. Um, cash prizes, I will try and work out how to put money into Ian's PayPal because mine is maxed out. Sorry.
I have spent a fortune last year on Christmassy things for trying to make money and it didn't really work so <clears throat> that was maxed to be helped um, and I can't use it again till May so it will have to be Ian's PayPal I use. But failing that I can send a cheque or whatever, it's not a problem. Um, I will get it to you somehow. Um, I think that's about it. As I said, annual postage is a big issue, which is why I'm giving it six weeks. Folks in the UK can send it second class, I don't care. Um, folks from America, Australia, Europe, send it whatever the lowest rate of postage is that you can send. Even if it takes an extra week, just let me know. If you have sent something, I will try. I'm saying the closing date is the 6th of March. That gives you full six weeks. If you have sent me something and I haven't received it, I will give it an extra couple of days to arrive. So I would, I'll maybe draw it on the 10th of March, which is the... I see. My brain doesn't work that well at times. That's wrong anyway. My brain is just totally fried. I'm saying March. It's April. So it closes on the 6th of April. And I will give it until the 10th of April, which is the Thursday. Um, and I'll do it after tea time so that there will be post on the Thursday. So that gives you an extra three day, three de four delivery days for it to get here. Um, and as I said, just send it the Wall Street that you can. It can be a card, it can be an ETC, it can be, um, a charm dangle, it can be a piece of jewellery. It can be a flower, it can be a painting, it can be whatever you make handmade that is going to make me smile. <laughs> Everything that does get sent will be put up in my room, which is very, very bland just now um, because I haven't decorated yet. Um, I'm going to get some shelving units above my PC because when I'm on a low, I spend so much time in my room on my PC because it's the only place I feel secure. I don't really answer my phone. I've got my mobile next to me, which I answer if it's my mum or the schools. That's it. Um, because if I feel in a low, I just don't want to speak to him to so what I see him do in my wee room is my safe haven. Um, <clears throat> so once I get my room decorated I want to have everything that's going to make me smile around about me. So anyway, hope you enjoy the challenge and I can't wait to see what you all make. <laughs> anyway, take care and I'll speak soon. Lots of love. Thank you. Bye bye now.